Dear friends, welcome to Programmable's video. In this video, we will show you how to detect the GPS is whether on or off from your Android app. So let's begin. We will create a very simple uh, layout. You can name it as GP, GPS on or off. Name of the app doesn't matter. Rest of things I leave as it is. We can probably select the latest uh, Android uh, 12. Of course, Android 13 is also around the corner. And we'll wait for our environment to load. Once the environment loads up, first and foremost thing I'll do is I'll go to this uh, uh, my layout and over here in this I'll keep this text view because here we'll print uh, uh, our results whether GPS is on or off. I'll give this some ID uh, which is text view. We can give any ID and by default it's hello world, but I'll change it to programmable probably. Again, it doesn't matter. So programmable. I'll put a button which will detect. So I'll put a button over here and I'll name this button as detect GPS. Yeah. And what else? I'll give some constraints. Perfect. So that's all I guess from a, a layout perspective. I'll go back quickly here and I'll create a public void button uh, detect detect GPS and I'll come back to the layout and associate my button to that particular uh, method you just now defined which is like so just scroll down and this on click attribute okay so it's empty if I go back to Java I think there's some issue because this view is still not identified uh, or not imported in the class so just do alt and try until import it and if I come back here it's still not happening let's do one thing let's go back to Java everything looks good here if I come back to the XML uh, select my button back yeah it came so I think it took some Time to refresh that's all anyway so I'll not spend much time here and now I'll go back here and this view uh, the code is pretty simple uh, but before that I think I will need to take it as a private I'll have to create a text view class variable so that I can associate it with the widget which we have defined in our layout text view find view by id r dot id dot text view perfect and in this button uh, detect GPS which is our trigger what we'll do is we'll create probably some kind of location manager again I think I can do it is I can create a class variable called location manager and this location manager in this own kit method itself first and foremost I can do is I can connect it to the get system service and then here the first you can get the location service Perfect. We may have to type cast it. So cast it to this whatever it says, just say yes. It will cast it to the location manager. That's the standard with all the system services. And in this direct, what we can do is we can directly use our condition check whether this location service. So I can just put location manager dot is provided uh, provided enabled. And in this provider, uh, what we can give is we can give the provider name, which is basically our GPS provided gps underscore yeah this one okay so if this is enabled so that means uh, gps is on so what we can do is we can put text view dot gps no no sorry text view set text and here in the set text we can put gps is on else it's off of course so we can put this as text view dot set text GPS is off. That's it. Just let's run this code and let's see how it comes up in the emulator. We'll have to wait for our emulator to come up. In the meantime, I'm just cleaning up my code a bit. So everything looks good. I will wait for my emulator to come up. So 
it may take a while uh, for emulator to load i will pause the video in the meantime so it seems like my emulator has come up and the app has loaded so perfect so we can see our button in our text view uh, before uh, we, we can quickly check also we can click this button to test our uh, app and it says gps is off i'm not sure how uh, legible it is let me increase the font size over here quickly in the text view i'll just go here and search for size and text size by now is I think 14 so I'll just increase it to probably 20 uh, and then rerun the code and see in the meantime I'll oh it's GSP I think again there's a spelling mistake although it doesn't matter but it's the we should be more accurate and precise in our life so if I click this GPS is off it says and if I go and check my GPS settings, the location is off right now. Perfect. So if I click it on, now I will be expecting it to say GPS is on. Let's see what happens. Perfect. So if you notice, it changed to on. So that's so simple and straightforward to capture whether the GPS or the location services is on or off. No location access. Device location for all apps is turned off. And you may not be able to locate your device if it's lost. Turn on. Okay. So I think it's a warning, a standard warning given by the Android OS and not from the app. Uh, when you're clicking off. Yeah. So I'll do one more time. I'll click it. Uh, I'll switch back to on and then I'll test it. Hopefully it will work. It should say GPS is on. That's all. So it's so simple. I just wanted to show you, to show you that it's just one line of the code. What you just use is provider enabled uh, API on the location manager and that's all. So I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.